I will send your Holy Spirit, please. Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anase and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. All praises to the Most High. So Hamashiach says that there's weightier matters or heavier matters of the law. Red letters, right? And he says that the way I read it, it looks like he's saying that judgment is a weightier matter. Mercy is a weightier matter. And faith. But they should have did their tithes of men are not saying human, which seem to be less heavier matters of the law. And what will actually tip the scale even more is judgment, mercy, and faith. So, a law that required faith. A law that requires faith. Because he says it's a weightier matter of the law that we should definitely do. Do all of them. The heavy ones and the small ones. But the problem, or what he's rebuking them for, is leaving the weightier matters undone. So, I wanted to highlight um, what I think the fruit of the spirit, faith, which Mashiach is saying is a weightier law. I want to uh, read a passage that one would need or require faith to even execute this commandment because I don't think there's a law that literally just says thou shalt have faith. But there are laws that will require one to have faith. To execute it, it would display faith to the Most High. Leviticus chapter 25, starting at verse 3. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land. A Sabbath intermission, half time for the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard, no work. That which groweth of its own accord, at verse 5, of thy harvest, thou shalt not reap, neither gather the grapes of the vine undressed. For it is a year of rest unto the land. And the Sabbath of the land shall be meat for you, for thee, and for thy servant, and for thy maid, and for thy hired servant, and for thy stranger that sojourneth with thee, and for thy cattle, and for the beasts that are in thy land, shall all the increase thereof be meat. So, up until this point, I read this, and he, is he, I feel like the most high, or I'm alluded to think, or to acknowledge what I'm acquiring from the words that I read, is that the most high is saying, six years, you do what's all necessary to uh, propel your land to produce fruit scientifically naturally cause and effect you put seed in the ground fruit comes up you need to make sure you cut around it prune the vineyard take the weeds out do this do that to have a prosperous garden you're doing work and you do that for a total of six years but in the seventh year don't touch it naturally scientifically one would think well if i don't work i won't eat if I don't, if I don't take care of the garden, it's gonna be undressed. It's gonna be ruined. It's gonna be vines gonna be grown all out of place. It's not gonna be going in the direction I wanted it to. It's gonna get messed up for a whole year. I don't touch it. That doesn't seem like that's right. Naturally, it's gonna ruin the garden. But from what I read, the Most I says, no, don't touch it. Obey my commandment. You have to believe in what you can't see here, which is faith. And What's going to happen is you're going to have meat. You're going to have food for you, your higher servants. You're going to have enough food even for the stranger that sojourns among you. Mm. You're definitely going to have to believe in something that's not even instantaneous. And you're going to have to rely on faith here to execute this commandment. And if you execute this commandment, I believe the Most High will see you as one that had faith. You believed in hoped in what you could not see, but you believed and committed to the word of God. Verse eight, and thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years, and the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto thee 40 and nine years. 
Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month in the day of atonement. Shall you make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And you shall hollow at verse 10, the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and you shall return every man unto his possession, and you shall return every man unto his family. Verse 11. And you believe shall that fiftieth year be unto you. You shall what? Not sow, neither reap that which groweth of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in it of the vine undressed. So not only could you not sow, you couldn't plant new crops, new nothing, and you also could not, whatever came up, you could not reap. You could not take it. Hmm. Verse 18, again, this is definitely going to require faith, I believe. Verse, verse 18. Wherefore you shall do my statutes, customs, and keep my judgments, and do them. You shall dwell in the land in safety. Verse 19. And the land shall yield her fruit, and you shall eat your fill, and dwell therein safety. And if you shall say, What shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow nor gather in our increase. Everything that came in the seventh year, we can't gather it, and we can't even sow. We can't put new seeds in. So what are we going to eat the seventh year? That's the question, right? I think it's a valid question is why the Most High validated it by uh, saying, if you ask this. Verse 21, then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for how many years? For three years. Glory to the throne. The water Abba, all praises to the Most High. He said, if you make the intent and the obligation. If you sign up in the sixth year, I'll make sure it's enough food for the next three years. In the seventh year, you can keep my commandment if you would just have faith. Verse 22, and you shall sow the eighth year and eat yet of old fruit until the ninth year. Until her fruits come in, you shall eat of the old store. So to sign up for such a deal, to sign on a dotted line and agree to the terms and conditions, I believe faith is required for that law. And it's a weighty matter. Glory to the throne. Shalom.